What is good, YouTube? Got another airsoft gun review. Is that just the typical airsoft? Um, I mean, the, the videos that I usually make. This time, got a little pocket rocket Derringer pistol, as you see right here. Got a nice little representation of that airsoft gun. You see on the top of the box. Got the airsoft gun. You know, has all kinds of writing in Korean because this gun is made in Korea. As you can see on the top of the box, not very, not many uh, airsoft guns are made in Korea, but this one is. The box is a little smashed. You know, I got a little, got a little angry with the gun. You know, that's why it's a little, you know, beat up and stuff. I'm just, I'm just playing. Yeah, the box came like that because this gun did come from, you know, across seas. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at the Derringer itself. Very small gun, as it is with the real thing. Get the packaging itself. Got Derringer right there. More words in Korean. You got the little pocket rocket right there. Almost the size of the Glock 42 I reviewed a while ago. And I had, have had this little gun for a little while. Um, but yeah, you could only probably find it across these. I did pick this up off of eBay. That's where they had one of these bad boys right there. Um, it's a spring, it's a springer, so it uses no gas, um, you know, no batteries, I don't think you could have ever put a battery in one of these little things, but there's no, no trades or nothing, I, I believe the, the brand that makes it is Crown something, yeah, you yeah. know, made in Korea right there. And the gun is all plastic. Uh, there is a there is no metal besides the screws. Trigger. It's plastic. A hammer. It's a little stiff. Um, but it it works. Um, this. This gun that. Uh, this gun isn't very capable of much, if you know you This gun isn't capable of very much. Um, you probably probably wouldn't even be able to feel the the BB hitting you. Because this this gun and now, now the Derringer, now this one doesn't open up like the actual Derringer. And that's, I'm sorry about that, I was taking uh, getting some some ammo ready for it because you would only use 0.12 gram BBs with this one it's not a very hard hitting or has the highest FPS it is a uh, pretty weak considering that it's pretty small but I mean it works it works pretty well it doesn't open like the Derringer where you know it flips upwards and you load in two shots you now you got to make those two shots count no but this one at the front, grab this, take up the loading tube, put your BBs in there. And you could fit up to uh, seven BBs. You could fit up to seven shots in here, so it's not accurate to the, der the real Derringer, you know, because the Derringers only use two shots. But hey, with this one, you get a total of seven shots. It's pretty nice. Close it back up. You now you put the, the loading tube back in. Straight forward with this little um, pressure piece has right here. Line it up in there. Put it in there. And then turn that to the left. And this should be locked. 
All right, now to load it, pull the hammer back. All right, let's test out the FPS. The micronograph right here, I'm gonna test it out with 0.12 gram BBs because it's not a very hard hitting gun. Here we go, first shot. Yeah, that hit the side of the chronograph, so it uh, claims it's 33.3, but this one is almost up to 100 FPS. 89.2, that's a little more accurate. Yeah, that BB rolled out. Eighty nine point two again. I guess I didn't read it or something. It's not reading them. It's not reading the other BBs. It's probably so weak it's not even reading them. I'm gonna load it up with a few more shots. Yeah, it's not reading them. I only read like two shots. One of them hit the chronograph. The other one just went through, and that was the last one because it's going to be shot twice. It's not reading them. Yeah, it's not reading them anymore. I'm not sure why. I always got problems going on with stuff. Maybe I just need to change the battery since these batteries have been in here for quite some time in the chronograph. But yeah, it's not reading them. Pretty disappointing. Um, could I say this? This gun is a. See, and to prove it's, it doesn't doesn't hurt, I'm gonna shoot my forearm. Yeah. Yeah, I felt the little sting. Felt it somewhere right there. You could feel it, yes, from that close up. But it's not. It's not very, very damaging. Yeah, I don't see anything. I just felt, like, you know, a little sting. Nothing crazy. But yeah, that's pretty much it with this uh, little Derringer pistol. Uh, leave your comments down below. And, uh, let me know what you think about it. Uh, if I could still find this this little pocket rocket derringer, I'll leave a I'll leave a link down below. We could find this little gun. They do have the gas ones, but those are I feel like they're overpriced because you could get like real derringers for like a hundred and twenty something like that, and those airsoft ones are like basically the same cost now. Just ridiculous. I wanted to get one, but when they raised the price, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to get one of those. This one was about $30, give or take. So pretty expensive, honestly, for what it is. But it's worked. All right. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. So stay tuned for more airsoft gun reviews. And I got more stuff coming. All right.